Okay, welcome everyone to my Resident Evil Zero playthrough. Um, I haven't played this game before. I am playing a little, you know, at midnight, so I'm just going to be playing just for a short period tonight, just to have a couple videos out if I can, and then tomorrow I'll just be, you know, later on in the day. Basically, it's already Tuesday, but um, I'm going to have more coming up later on in the day to continue uh, on with the game. But I figure I just jump into it. A little bit I wasn't expecting it to you know launch so I'm, I am gonna be playing on normal I never played this game before but uh, I play all the other Resident Evil games except for you know this one and I played a little bit of Resident Evil 5 but uh, I never really finished Resident Evil 5 all the way through so I'm interested in seeing how this game was because it's gonna be like because I never played um, you know, I haven't played this game, you know, when it first came out, a but um, town in America, I played, city, you know, the others way before, and the especially the other remake that they came out with. Um, I think the it was the Shina first the Re Resident Evil 1 remake that they came out with, and I started playing that, and I really enjoyed events. it, so I'm interested in seeing how this is going to turn out. That the International Enterprise umbrella was somehow involved. Little is known as to the origin of this faceless corporation. When was it established? By whom? And how was the T-Virus created? To uncover the truth, we must delve deeper into the events which transpired in the beginning, before the mansion incident. The graphics look great too, but I know this originally came out for the Nintendo GameCube. But when I I still own my GameCube today, but when I the Resident Evil game I played on it was way back uh, Resident Evil 4, but I never knew about Resident Evil Zero being out for the GameCube. I didn't even know Res there was an actual Resident Evil Zero until you know I found out about it. Oh, look at these nasty looking things. This is crazy. Who is this guy? So here we go. Two hours later, above Raccoon Forest. Began as a simple investigation of some bizarre murders in the suburbs of Raccoon City. Nothing in our training could ever have prepared us for the nightmare that ensued. We never stood a chance. Just Rebecca. What's going on? Engine failure. Emergency landing. position and investigate the surrounding area. Captain, look. <gasps> Captain. Hmm? What happened? Order for transportation. Prisoner Billy Cohen, ex lieutenant, 26 years old. Court martialed and sentenced to death July 22nd. Prisoners to be transferred to the Regathon base for execution. Those poor soldiers. They were good men just doing their jobs, and that scum murdered them and escaped. All right, everyone, let's separate and survey the area. Our friend is brutal and ruthless. Keep your guard up.
It's an abandoned train. <laughs> and it's raining too. It's hella dark. <laughs> that can't be good. The Ecliptic Express. The door to safety is shut. There is no turning back. Oh, here we go. I'm already playing. I thought it was going to be like longer cutscenes. So, here we go. Okay, I press pause. I got to learn these controls because I don't want to rush into anything. End up getting into running to zombies and all types of stuff without even knowing how to play. So, this is the menu. I guess we're playing as Rebecca for now. Because uh, I was originally going to play with Re Rebecca anyway because for my Resident Evil Remastered playthrough, I played with Chris instead of Jill so from my playthrough I plan to play with Rebecca once we go to choose our characters so we can view the status screen by pressing the square button so I already figured that out you know, with the items and such status screens allow you to equip weapons and all that select the map with L2 during gameplay blue one for your current location green one for visited locations and red means locked and yellow door means unlocked while viewing the map, you can view the <coughs> you can view the maps, pushing objects by holding the left stick. I remember that from the original games, well, from the older PS1 uh, games. <laughs> Equipping weapons, I already know about that. The attack stance is holding R1. So while in the attack stance, we can shoot with the X button, quick turn, press circle while holding the uh, left thumbstick. So, and we already know about checking the items, item details. So I'm going to be using the games, the, the original controls, well not the original, but the, the, I guess the brand new controls that's given to us from the you know from playing up and starting the game so I'm not going to use the alternative the alternate controls or anything so I'm going to really try to learn the controls just like I did with the the remake the Resident Evil 1 remake so just trying to get the movements down make sure I know what I'm doing because I don't want to get killed at the start that will just be terrible but again I'm only going to be playing for a little bit so I'm not going to play too long tonight Seats are stained and all this luggage here. I was trying to check for items. I don't see anything. So that's door that door is locked. This one's locked too. That's where I just came from. You haven't finished searching the train yet. So I just wanted to check. Could be some hidden items. So I'm definitely going to be checking. Looking around as I, for my playthrough. I'm just going to be looking around for uh, hidden items and stuff that can come in handy. Please identify yourself. You never know what you can Someone find. There. Oh, he's alive! A surprise. I'm not even surprised at all. Look at this. <laughs> we got our first zombie. Three of them. And we're surrounded. Oh boy. 